Sometimes we can feel very lost in life. I know a lot of you feel lost at the moment. I was once lost, all right, and I'm really grateful that I started to find myself a few years ago and it is still helping me to this day. So in this video, I'm going to share with you uh, five steps to find yourself and hopefully this can make you realize uh, what you're missing and how you can start being fulfilled again. But because I believe that a life well lived is a l fulfilling life. So the first idea that I'm going to share with you is to stop following other people. Uh, many of us, we live a life of being copy. Okay, we, be, we copy other people. And this is not a good thing. Uh, we follow others, all right? We see how others are doing in life and we try to copy them to get the same results. But it is not necessarily uh, going to work. All right, because you, when you f need to find yourself, you need to find your true style. You need to find how you want to operate, what you want to do. All right, when you copy others, whether it's what work they're doing, how they are dressing, where they are going, which car they are driving, when you try to copy all these, it's living a fake life. You're not being true to yourself. The first idea is to stop following others and start to act, wear, drive, what you can afford and what is true to you, what you like really doing. The first step to start uh, finding yourself. The second step is to do different difficult things. It means that maybe you've lived a life uh, that you like comfort, you like to do easy things. The, most of us like to do easy things. But the reality is, if you want to grow, you want to find yourself, you want to start doing things in your life, you need to start being uncomfortable. You need to start do, doing difficult things. Maybe you need to start running in the morning at 5 a.m. Maybe you need to start eating healthy. Maybe you need to start going to the gym. Maybe you need to have that conversation with your spouse. Maybe you need uh, to go through uh, that uh, phase in your life where you cut back on things so these are difficult things but when you do difficult things you become stronger you be life become easier when you do difficult, th difficult things there's a saying that goes if you do difficult things you will live an easy life if you do easy things you are going to live a difficult life i really believe in that and uh, when i live my life this way I can see others doing easy things but living a hard life. Uh, this is the second idea to do difficult th things. The third idea is to uh, know your why. Okay, first of all, you want to find yourself. You want to start doing things on your own. You need to achieve something. You have to know why you want this change. Because our why uh, will drive us through the storm will drive us and make us take decisions that is hard and move forward in life. So your why is very important. The stronger the why, the easier it will be to go through all these steps. Okay, this can take a few months to a few years. All right, it depends where you want to go. The, f the more drastic you want to find yourself and change your life, the longer time it will take but the journey is worth it believe me i've been through it i'm still through it and i'm loving the journey of uh, transformational change and self-development learning growing every single day okay the fourth idea is what are your values for example my values are health and fitness growing mm, I love doing business, I love uh, being in business, I love thinking. These are my values and if you analyze my daily routine, these are the things that I do every single day. So analyze the things that you want to apply every single day, this will become your values. Not the values of your mother, not the values of your father, of your brother and sister, of your neighbor, of your friends. No, what do you want to do? To change your life okay know your values 
The final idea is to listen to your inner voice. How much you can learn, how much you can uh, take risks, how much you, people will help you, how much habits you install. But we all have that inner voice inside of ourselves. And sometimes when life gets hard, when you go through change, you have to listen to your inner voice. Okay, your inner voice is a guide, is an internal guide. And many times I listen to my inner voice. If there's a decision to be made, sometimes maybe you have to wait at least one week again to make that decision. It's too early. If you want to buy something, maybe it's not the right time to buy it. There's an inner voice that will guide you. So as much as you can, listen to your inner voice. It will help you on your way to transform yourself. There you go, guys. These are the five, idea five ideas. And I hope you like this video. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up and let me know if you like it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And see you next time.